Let's look at something fun today. Some royalty-free custom images. Now, there are lots of sites that we can get stuff like this from. Of course, Pixels, Pixabay, all that good stuff. We like it, but here's one where you can actually customize these images, and it's from a joint called Icons 8. Let me jump out, and let's go over to see what's what. This is good. <laughs> in fact, let me put a link to this in the chat box for you. This is called Icon 8 Photo Creator. Okay, and here's the scoop. Don't search for stock photos. Create them. And here's the deal. You go to this website, and what happens is you get a nice little interface. It's free to join, free to use, with some caveats. And essentially, it lets you create realistic photos in minutes. And here's kind of what it does. The site has all different kinds of models, backgrounds, and objects. Here happens to be one that is kind of configured or created. And what you can do is you just click stuff, and it changes, for example, the model. Let's change this model. Don't like that background? Pick this one. Or on the beach, different floral arrangements. <laughs> Okay, so that's basically how it works, or what the purpose is. And you can really dive in and create something, you know, a little more interesting, if you will. The scoop is that it is free. They ask you to give a link to the page if you want to use them in your projects. You can download a JPEG version after you've modified your little creation. Or, if you want the PSDs, which have layers, okay, and all the masked objects and layered up and stuff, then you got to pay 20 bucks a month and have Photoshop. Well, for free, these are nice high-res JPEG images. All right, so let's go ahead and click this real quick. Really super easy to get started. You can start with templates. Let's click that. If you like, let's create a new photo. And then this is basically how it works. You have different categories, so models, objects, backgrounds. You can add text, and you can also upload your own images. So I'm not going to get too much into that, but here's kind of an interesting thing. You can also click this, and models can have swappable faces. <laughs> so let's see here. Let's go ahead and pick one. So here, let's see, let's click this gal, and what we'll see is that I can swap out her face for something really bizarre, I guess. <coughs> Probably not the look I'd be going for, but I just want you to be aware that that's uh, possible. Uh, beyond that, then, you just go ahead and add a background, and there are tons, tons and tons of stuff. Plain backgrounds, uh, scenery backgrounds, all that good kind of stuff. So let's see here. Let's try to pick one. There we go. Objects. Let's put a coffee cup in. Let's set it on the counter. And objects like this actually have a little bit of a shadow to them. So you can really kind of get into this and, you know, create your own objects and stuff. And then when you're all done, you just export it. All right, so really fun, really interesting way to go. The other thing that I'll point out is it is also just a stock photo transparent image site. So you can get to all those pieces and parts that we just saw in the creator. There's tons of transparent images, all searchable, and you can download these as... PNGs. So you could theoretically kind of build your own maybe inside a PowerPoint just by grabbing pieces and parts. Okay, but lots of good transparent images. Again, backgrounds. So all the assets that we saw in the creator, you can pretty much get to individually as well. That's kind of a good one. It's kind of new. I hadn't seen it before. Uh, here, let me put this link in the chat box for you too, is just a little promo demo that they did. Kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of what that scoop is all about.
lots of PNG transparent cutouts, models, backgrounds, objects. The quality of those is just really good. <laughs> and uh, some of the images are kind of fun. So here, I just used the site itself, grabbed a background, and grabbed a puppy. Okay, and some of the assets are kind of interesting. This is me, and I did this with remove.bg, but I also snagged this little guy right here, and if we kind of, let's take this thing, and just kind of punch it up there. There you go. You can have all kinds of fun with this stuff. And that's one thing I like about the cutout images. It's not the... You know how some of those stock images are just so stock looking. I like the ones that have a little different or even humorous kinds of stuff. And I just thought this was a good one. Okay, let's press onwards here. Hey, Lon Naylor here. Thanks for watching. Leave your questions and comments below. I answer all of them personally. And if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing and clicking the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.